everyone, Andy here, and today I'm back in the Able City Burbank office, and I've just shot some footage on the uh, Sony F55 in both RAW on the uh, Axis Media Card here, and an HD at the same time here on good old H on, uh, SYS cards. Uh, so I set the camera up to record the same clips in both places, one in HD, one in RAW, uh, and now I want to show you a basic workflow for getting those, uh, those all that material into your computer edit in HD and then match back to the 4K raw material for finishing purposes. Uh, so this is basically an offline, online workflow using this, the, the, the cards produced from the camera. Uh, so today I'll be using Final Cut 7, which is because it's easy, and easy to access for me, but you can use Final Cut 10, Adobe Premiere, uh, Avid, of course, to do the editing purposes. And then I'll use the uh, matching back process will be done in uh, DaVinci Resolve uh, but again, you could use any major color grading application there. Uh, to read the cards, I'll go ahead and use a uh, Sonnet Echo for my, uh, which is a Thunderbolt reader for my SYS card here. It's the fast reader. And I'll use the uh, CR1 here, which is a USB 3 dock uh, for the uh, Axis card. Put those two together. And let's go check out, check out the results on my computer. Okay, here we are on my computer, and you can see here I have attached an S by S card uh, and my uh, Axis card. Uh, the S by S card has this XD cam root, XD root structure with a clip folder in it. Here's all my clips. And the Cine root has the same basic structure: Cine root, then clip, and then my and then my clips. The last four clips here on both cards, the ones I just shot, 15, 16, 17, 18, and again you can see them here on the other on the other card on the S by S card, 15, 16. 17, 18. So I have the matching MXF files with the same name. Now, uh, in the current build of the F55 and the F5, uh, the naming convention, if you want them to match between the R5 and the camera, has to be this clip and then a number type name. So the clips are all named just a basic uh, clip number uh, scenario. Uh, this is a little limiting at the moment, but you will see an updated version of the firmware and the camera enabling a better naming convention. So, but again, I have both clips here. Uh, both cards here with the same clip name, so a very nice option. Okay, so go ahead and download those, which I've already done, to my uh, internal hard drive here. Uh, and then let's go ahead and bring them into Final Cut Pro. So we launch Final Cut Pro, and oh, oh, look, I already did it. So here they are, Final Cut Pro. My clips 15, 16, 17, and 18 are all brought in, and I've already put together a really basic timeline. Here is a, a timeline with some fades. Uh, this is uh, Grady, one of our technicians, checking in an F55, believe it or not, there on his bench from a rental job. So there he is doing the job, uh, checking, checking the viewfinder, etc. Uh, and this, I just put this timeline together, three shots here with some basic fades. And this is, this is just the HD content that I shot from the camera on the SPS cards. But do note that there are uh, uh, crop lines or letterboxing that's happened here on the camera. And that's because the, the camera uh, in the raw mode is recording uh, 4096 by 2160. That's uh, the 4K resolution of the camera, which is basically a 17 by 9 aspect ratio. So when we put it into an HD uh, wrapper like this, we're actually seeing it uh, letterboxed in there. So this is normal, what you're seeing here. Uh, of course, you could always just zoom in a little bit to get rid of that uh, for HD finishing if you wanted. So, But we're going to go back to the 4K, so well, this is fine for this step. Great for proxy offline workflow. So there it is. The material is all there. It's all good. It has audio. And then and the next step will be to send that material to DaVinci Resolve. And for us to do that, we're going to just say File, Export, XML. Like that. Say OK. And then we'll go ahead and save this to my desktop as an XML file, uh, just like that. Now, I could do the same basic thing uh, with the time on an any NLE, uh, Final Cut 10, Adobe, Avid, etc., uh, and export an EDL, an AIF, etc. All those are all would all work as well in the same process. So now that I have that file on my desktop, I'm going to go ahead and launch uh, DaVinci Resolve uh, and uh, bring that bring this material in. So I'll go. So Resolve is loading up. I'll go ahead and I'm going to enter a project. I'm going to make a new project here, and I'll call it F55 Prep. Just like the timeline. Here it is. I'll go ahead and configure this. Like so, and make it oh, make it already make it a 4K project because I want to take my raw take my HD material uh, off the timeline and generate a 4K uh, finish. So I'll go ahead and make this 4K. You can do this in a different step if you want to, but I just want to type it in here. 
The default, by the way, for 4K film is a different aspect ratio, 4096 by 3112. I want to change this to 2160, 4096 by 2160, and set my, my, my everything else to 24 frames. This is fine. Uh, you could actually put it at 2398 if you wanted to here, but again, when I bring that timeline in, it will, uh, the XML file, it will adjust that for me. So I'll go ahead and just say apply. That's fine, and out of here, and enter into my project. Now, the trick here with Resolve here is that I want to, before I bring my timeline in to Resolve, I want to import my raw clips directly into the media pool. So all my raw material that I'm, that I'm going to match to off the HD timeline, I want to go ahead and bring in. So I have all that, all that raw material downloaded here, so I'll go ahead and bring it in to this folder. F55, here it is, Cine Root clips, and it's 15, 16, 17. So you can see 15, 16, 17, and 18. There they are, all, all, in, all inside here. Now this is my raw material. As you can see here, it has a 4096 by 2160 timeline, uh, and it's raw data 23976. Very nice. So uh, we have the media ready. Now let's go to the conform tab here, there's the next tab over, to bring in our timeline. So to do that, uh, up here in the timelines area, you'll see I have that master timeline, uh, which is the default timeline that comes with the, uh, the project. But here I want to choose right click and import XML. And that XML file that I made a minute ago is in my desktop here, F55 prep. Open it up. And then from here I can choose to do a couple things. The, the default uh, timeline to bring in is the F55 prep timeline that I made in Final Cut. And I'll go ahead and leave the timeline name the same. And then here's two important options, right? So uh, I want to bring in this and then adjust my timeline settings to be basically the same as I had in Final Cut. That's a good thing. But what I don't want to do is bring in the source material. That's the section, second option there. I automatically import source clips. I don't want to do that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that because that, that means that if I did that, it would automatically link to those files directly. Instead, what I want Resolve to do is link to the raw files that I brought, into a, I brought in a minute ago. And in fact, when I hit OK here, it'll do just that. One more thing before I say OK, though, set my timeline, my timeline resolution to 4096 by 2160. Again, to get that 4K uh, online if I wanted it. There you go. Set that way. And when I hit OK, things should go well. OK. Here's my new timeline. And down here, you can see there is my 4K timeline, complete with transitions, right from Final Cut, just like that. So very nice. From there, I can go to color and make adjustments. This is the raw data. You can tell if I come down here. This is the raw icon here. I can see down here this is F65 or Sony raw data. And I can choose from here to adjust you know, to different modes. S gamut, 709, P3, uh, S-Log2 if I wanted to see that, etc. I can then apply LUTs if I wanted to. Uh, on top, I do have, I did load in the new Sony LUTs here, so I can apply these LUTs if I wanted to, to any one of these clips, uh, just like so. Do all the coloring I like, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and just dump this straight out uh, for, uh, f into a ProRes 4K file for delivery. It's just for my, just for my purposes. Of course, you could do any number of exports, DPX, etc. So go to the Deliver tab here, and I'll choose the export as being ProRes uh, 444, let's say. 496 export, export of a single clip. I'm going to choose to export this to my uh, my hard drive here. I'll put this there, okay. And go ahead and render the audio. There is audio associated with the uh, raw data in this case, so it has it there. Uh, and that's all I need to do. Add the job, yes, I need to be careful, and start rendering. So there it is, my 4K uh, timeline from my HD edit. You notice also no longer, no more letterboxing because it is the full 17 by 9. Uh, there it is all together. Very simple. Resolve workflow with Final Cut 7. Again, you can repeat Final Cut 10, uh, Adobe, Avid, other, other color grading applications the same basic way. So it's just that easy. Uh, try it for yourself. Uh, this will also work, by the way, with the F5 and, as well as the 55. Uh, it's a really nice option. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.